Have you ever wondered why successful people are successful? I remember I used to think that maybe it was they were born rich or they have a friend who lent them some money or had a special skill or maybe they're just smarter than me and they have some sort of level of intelligence that I can never hope to achieve. But in the back of my mind, I never bought into any of those reasons for why people are successful and I studied success for years. Back when I was in college, I went to conferences I went to seminars, I read books, listened to podcasts and audio CDs trying to figure out how people who weren't successful turned into successful folks. There was one common thread that came through all of these things and that was visualization. And I'm going to go over how I've been able to visualize my own success and step into it. And at this point in time, I've earned over $20 million with my online business, which was a something I originally had set out to do. And I'm gonna go over some of my extra tips for how to visualize success and also ways to really make it real and start seeping into your real life so that the successful version of yourself that you visualize starts blending with who you actually are and you step into that role without even thinking of it. Let's go. Visualization has four different components, but I'm gonna go over three additional tricks to helping yourself become successful, even if you're not right now. Visualization is actually being able just to think of what your goal is. This is very important. You wanna say visualization means knowing your goal. And most folks don't even know what they're trying to achieve. I've taught tens of thousands of students online so far, teaching them how to start their own business. But one of the common threads is that when I ask people, what do you want? What are you, what are you reaching towards? Some people will say, I want to be a billionaire. And I'll ask them, why are you working at Jamba Juice then? That doesn't help you on your goal. Folks who are working at Jamba Juice don't really want to be a billionaire. They might just be happy with a hundred thousand, a million dollars. And most folks, what I find, settle between a place where they're comfortable with, where they're happy with, in terms of money, because they've never actually created a realistic perception of what their goal is. Visualization fixes that. Having that version of yourself you want to become in mind. Now, the first step to visualization is doing it often. How often? The frequency of how you visualize. When you think of yourself as the James Bond version of yourself, what is it? How often are you actually thinking of your goal? Just when somebody random asks you, maybe once every six months, that's not enough. The second part of that is what is the duration of how much you think about your goal? Are you really thinking of it for long in detail, which is number three, the vividness? Are you going into that place of who you wanna become and seeing where you wanna live? What do you smell? When you're the James Bond version of yourself, do you, what, what are you smelling normally? <laughs> what do you see? when you look out your eyes as the James Bond version of yourself. What do you feel? What do you feel in your toes? Is it sand? Are you wearing sandals? Are you wearing high-class business shoes? What are you wearing? What do you taste? What, what, what do you eat every day? What do you eat for breakfast as the James Bond version of yourself? What do you eat for lunch? What do you snack on? when you're, I don't know, reading or sitting at your computer. That's the vividness. You need to get all senses in there. What are you hearing? Who's talking to you? Who's around you? What type of material is your shower or bathtub made out of? Your faucets, are they stainless steel? Are your countertops granite or marble? Or do you not even have a house? Do you just travel, you're a nomad, and you stay at hotels your entire life? What is it? Do you have a family around you? Is your whole extended family there at your chateau in the south of France overlooking the Mediterranean Sea? Where the heck 
are you? What does it smell, taste, hear, all those things. Get into detail, get into vividness of your goal when you are visualizing. This is very important to visualization. This is what really helps. And the last thing is intensity. What sort of emotions are you feeling, not just when you're visualizing, but even if you step into your visualization, what sort of emotions penetrate your day? Are you a really important businessman and you get angry and things happen and people get fired and enemies get conquered? Or is it just peace and tranquil all the time? Or are all of your girlfriends or boyfriends always having fights and you're just a steady rock or you're involved in them, you have that drama around you, but you're not a part of it? What, 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 is, what drives you in life? What emotions do you feel when you're that James Bond version of yourself? What emotions do you feel when you're even visualizing that success? You might be happy right now might be complacent, you might think of yourself as, say, I'm gonna be a billionaire, I'm gonna run my own space company, I'm gonna have a, a gazillion fancy cars. What does that make you feel? What does that make you feel that's more intense to drive you there than what you currently have today? Think about all these things, but again, that level of detail that you go into when you are visualizing the James Bond version of yourself is more important than anything. Be able to write 10 pages describing what that version of yourself looks like, does, thinks, smells, feels, eats all day. The second tip to actually stepping into that success is experiencing it in real life, raw. Back when I was younger, I wasn't really that good at visualizing, or maybe I just didn't know what it really was. People said, write down your goal, and I was like, I wanna be a billionaire and all this stuff, but it never felt real to me. So what I did is I went to a Lamborghini dealership. I got turned down by the Lamborghini dealership. I got turned down by the Aston Martin dealership, but I ended up test driving a Rolls Royce Phantom two-tone quarter million dollar car, 280 some thousand dollars was the price tag. And I rode that thing and I drove it fast. It was exhilarating. I threw the top down, it was fantastic. And I really experienced at 18 years old, I experienced what it is like to have a fancy, expensive car that costs more than most people's homes. You can go to car dealerships and test drive cars. You can go to home openings. You can go to neighborhoods and look at homes. You don't need, they don't even take a credit check. Realtors will just show you around a home if you look like you're a well-to-do person. Nobody knows who's a millionaire or a billionaire anymore. You know, billionaires wear sweatshirts. Anybody can be anybody in today's world. So go check out what a $10 million home looks like. If they don't have $10 million homes in your uh, city, then drive somewhere and check out a $10 million home. Or just see the most expensive home in your area that's being shown to people at that time. You can really experience what life is like. Go rent a home on Airbnb. That's the most expensive home you can afford for one night. Experiencing success makes it real. And I know that sounds crazy and ridiculous, but these were my hobbies. These were my hobbies back in college while everybody else was drinking and trying to get laid. I was out there trying to experience success, trying to move towards success. And ironically, or maybe not, I'm one of the few people who has been become very successful in my circle of friends. Which leads me to my third tip or trick to becoming successful is osmosis. And what that means is surrounding yourself with other people who are either moving towards success or who all already successful. And you can find these people, you just go again, going to that Lamborghini dealership, even if you just go there to try to test drive a car and maybe get turned down, you're gonna be around successful people. If you go to that home opening where they're showing off, they're doing walkthroughs through an expensive fancy mansion they're trying to sell, even if you can't afford it, you're still surrounding yourself with successful people. 
or you go to the most expensive hotel in your area. You are surrounding yourself with successful people who are staying at that expensive hotel when maybe you're just getting a glass of water. There's a lot of ways to start surrounding yourself with successful people, even if you think you're like, in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody rich around you, there are. You just haven't met them yet because you're not expanding your group of friends. You should feel imposter syndrome. You should feel uncomfortable if you are trying to become successful. If you are comfortable, then you are not in the right room. Then you are not surrounding yourself with successful people. You're not doing what it takes to become successful. Be uncomfortable. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations consistently and the muscle will get stronger and you will step in to that James Bond version of yourself. And last but not least, number fourth tip or trick to success is speech. Tell people what your goals are. Tell people that you're trying to have your own business. You're trying to create passive income. That you are trying to become a multimillionaire or a millionaire or a billionaire or whatever that is. The more people you tell, family gatherings, friends of what you're trying to do, you say, oh, I can't hang out this weekend and go to the bars. I'm going to test drive a Ferrari. And your friends will say, what do you mean you're test driving a Ferrari? You're broke. You say, well, I'm trying to get rich, so I just want to know what that car is I'm going to buy. And your friends will laugh at you. And again, you might also feel that imposter syndrome and uncomfortable, and that's good. Telling people what you're trying to do will also make you feel embarrassed when you meet up with those same people later on in life or the, during the week and you say, oh, I stopped or I quit or whatever. I'm not moving towards success anymore. Embarrassment is a very powerful motivator. And in order to preserve your dignity, you will have to continue working towards that success, whatever your goal is, whether it's a successful relationship, financially, or your body, people are gonna hold you accountable. If you tell everyone you're meeting, I'm working on losing 20 pounds before the end of the year, people will hold you to it when you see them again. You'll just have to work there or risk embarrassment. Embarrassment is such a powerful motivator. So those are my four tips for success. Which one did you like the most? I know my favorite one personally was experience because going out to those auto dealerships and touring those expensive mansions back when I was in college in Dallas, Texas was fantastic. It was exciting, you know, test driving a Rolls Royce, spending time in $20 million mansions in Dallas, I mean, was so cool. And it was one of the coolest parts of my college experience that nobody else really shared with me, but I loved it. And I think that going through that experience really helped me work harder to becoming successful. And you can do the same thing for free. Thanks for watching. Give this video a big like if you enjoy this. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below with a hoorah if this is motivating to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.